so hello welcome to my channel in today's video i am going to discuss few topics related to the friction i am going to explain angle of friction angle of repose then acceleration of body down the inclined plane and then minimum force required to move a block so first let us see the term angle of friction now angle of friction is suppose uh, this is a horizontal surface and this is a block of mass m okay now this is the applied force if f is the applied force then capital f the frictional force will be acting in this direction so this is the frictional force this is the normal reaction now this is the normal reaction and this is the frictional force now the resultant of these two forces will act in this direction so this is the resultant r so resultant this is the resultant of these two forces now angle of friction is basically this angle theta so how do you define angle of friction angle of friction it is defined as the angle between the resultant of normal reaction and the friction force and the normal reaction okay so if you see this triangle tan theta theta is angle of friction so theta equal to tan theta equal to perpendicular by base so this is vector is equal to this vector so it is equal to f divided by base n so tangent of angle of friction is equal to the ratio of friction force to the normal reaction but we know that this ratio is equal to the coefficient of friction so this implies tan theta is equal to mu that is tangent of angle of friction is equal to the coefficient of friction now next let us see the concept of angle of repose angle of repose now basically what it says that suppose you have an plane plane surface and this is a block placed on it now this plane is placed horizontally okay now if i increase the inclination of this plane suppose still this block is stationary okay now at this particular angle this block starts accelerating downward now there will be a particular angle maximum angle of inclination of this incline maximum angle suppose that max for which this block remains stationary so suppose this angle is alpha so this is the maximum angle of inclination of this inclined plane for which this block remains stationary so that angle is called angle of repose alpha so now if this block is having mass m so this will be mg if this is alpha this angle will also be alpha so this will be mg cos alpha this is mg sin alpha this is the friction force this is the normal reaction now angle of repose is the maximum angle of inclination of the inclined plane for which this block remains stationary so under equilibrium condition under equilibrium condition i can write this f is equal to mg sin alpha and n is equal to mg cos alpha n is equal to mg cos alpha so if you divide these two quantities what do you get f by n is equal to mg sin alpha divided by mg cos alpha so mg mg cancels out so you have tan alpha but what is this f by n f by n is mu so now we have the relation mu is equal to tan alpha 
that is tangent of angle of repose is equal to coefficient of friction so earlier we had tangent of angle of friction is equal to coefficient of friction so from this so from these two we can conclude that theta is equal to alpha it doesn't mean theta equal to alpha actually that means angle of friction is numerically equal to angle of repose these two are numerically equal they are not equal quantities they are two different concepts two different terms but they are numerically equal numerically equal okay so angle of repose is the maximum angle of inclination of the incline for which this block remains stationary okay so now let us calculate the acceleration acceleration of body down the inclined plane down the inclined plane okay so suppose this is the inclined plane of inclination some theta okay now this is a block okay so this is a block of mass m so this is mg this angle is theta so this will be mg cos theta this will be mg sin theta this is the frictional force and this is the normal reaction so now this block is accelerating downward with acceleration a so along the incline see mg sin theta is the force mg sin theta is the force acting in the downward direction frictional force is acting in the upward direction but the block is coming down so that means the net force on this block along the incline is mg sin theta minus f is equal to ma is equal to ma where a is the acceleration okay but what is this f f is mu times normal relation now from this diagram we see that this normal relation is equal to mg cos theta normal relation is equal to mg cos theta so i have m is equal to mu times mg cos theta so if you substitute these values over here what do we get mg sin theta minus mu mg cos theta is equal to ma so mm cancels out so we have a is equal to g sin theta minus mu g cos theta so this is the acceleration of the block this block down the inclined plane now let us consider another case where this angle theta is greater than alpha the angle of repose okay and now we have to find the minimum force required to move the block up the plane okay so if this block it has minimum force that has to be applied so that this block moves in the upward direction now if the block has to be moved in the upward direction we have to calculate the minimum force so if the block is moving in the upward direction the frictional force will act in the downward direction isn't it so in that case the frictional force will act in the downward direction so minimum force that must be applied see what is the total force see, mg sin theta is already acting in the downward direction if the block is to be moved in the upward direction the frictional force is also acting in the downward direction so total force acting in the downward direction is now it will be mg sin theta plus f that is equal to mg sin theta plus mu mg 
cos theta. So, this is the net force acting in the downward direction. So, if the applied force is greater than equal to this force, then the block will start moving in the upward direction. So, the minimum force that has to be applied so that the block moves in the upward direction is mg sin theta plus. So, this is the minimum force F minimum that has to be applied so that this block moves in the upward direction. Okay. Now, let us see one more case. Suppose this is a horizontal surface, this is a block of mass m and it is pulled in this direction by applying a force f. So this is the applied force, this is weight of the block acting in the downward direction, this is the normal direction, this is the friction force. So suppose this angle is theta, so the force is applied in angle theta with the horizontal. So this is f cos theta and this will be f sin theta okay so now we are calculating the minimum force required to move the block again the minimum force which will move this block okay so the force responsible for motion is f cos theta so f cos theta is equal to it should be greater than or equal to the friction force that is f cos theta should be greater than or equal to mu times normal reaction. Now if you see this figure in the upward direction, see in this vertical direction there is no motion. That means n plus f sin theta, this is the total force acting in the upward direction and mg is the force acting in the downward direction. So these two forces are equal. So we have n is equal to mg minus f sin theta. So if you substitute these values over here what do we get f cos theta greater than or equal to mu times mg minus f sin theta okay or this can be rearranged so rearranging we have this thing or f greater than or equal to mu mg divided by cos theta plus mu sin theta okay now this force has to be it has to be minimum then for f to be f minimum df the slope should be zero slope should be zero so, if you differentiate this, if you apply this condition over here, we get for df by d theta equal to 0, we get mu is equal to tan theta. Mu is equal to tan theta. Now, if you re apply this condition over here, we get, if you simplify this, you will see that we get f is equal to mu mg divided by square root of 1 plus mu square so this basically this is the minimum force that must be applied to move this block horizontally against friction so these are the few things which are critical for solving problems on friction and this is the first video on the topic friction and if you have doubts in any of the steps, uh, here I have skipped few steps, you can do them and if you are finding any difficulty, you can comment in the comment box.